Hello, my name is Joel Z. Williams, and I'm the Prop Master. I'm the Director of Props Scale Aircraft Model Building. Hey, thank you so much for coming to this site. I can't express to you how much I'm getting a lot of love and support from other model builders in the community, and I, I have to tell you I'm very flattered by that. I'm very honored. Um, a, a special note to Tactical Jackalope and Alex Modeling for, for highlighting my videos and pointing them out to, uh, to other uh, new model builders and, and as a place to go as a, a reservoir for and smart tips and tactics on how you can save a lot of money and do this thing this craft in the right way um, I want to actually take a second to acknowledge the older craftsmen the older model builders that are maybe a grandparent and they have a grandchild that is now of age where they're starting to get interested in, in building aircraft and, and, and models in general, scale, scale models. Um, I, I gotta tell you, you know, this is one of those hobbies, scale model building is one of those hobbies where you, you'll find people who are 65, 70 years old, maybe they're, uh, I'm, I'm a veteran and, and I deal with a lot of veterans that have been injured in the war and, and they don't have the, the full capacity that they used to be able to, to go out deer hunting and things like that and so they're looking to pick up a new hobby and this hobby, I gotta tell you, is very satisfying and, and it's satisfying in a couple of ways but one of the ways that I started the, the new um, uh, version of satisfaction, if you will, that, that I've started to notice is that the online community um, like I said, getting giving props to Tactical Jackalope, Jackalope and, and uh, Alex Modeling. These guys reached out to me and said, "Hey, you know, we like your videos. We like what you're doing. It's it's a it's a gratifying feeling, you know, when you you put together your scale aircraft model or armor. These guys, uh, Tactical Jackalope is primarily armor, um, but when you work on this this piece of history, this it's it's really a trophy to the a period of time in history and, and you're rebuilding it you're in and, and you're getting immersed in the the actions and, and, and the politics of the region and the time and it, it's a really cool thing and it's a good teaching method for especially for older um, builders who are trying to maybe inculcate or or educate uh, something about history to 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 a younger generation and I, I really really got to tell you I, I am just so impressed by the online community on here on YouTube awesome okay so let's get started um, this is going to be tutorial 5 uh, of the uh, P47 in build this is the Thunderbolt if you can see it correctly what we're doing here what I, I try to take a, a different approach here because I realize that there's a lot of scale model builders who are coming back into the craft <clears throat> after being out for a while or maybe um, new to the craft maybe, maybe have never done it before and so what I try to do is do a primitive build and this is what some some people euphemistically call a stick build where, where you're, you're using um, uh, your, your paint brushes your, your handheld paint brushes as opposed to to um, airbrushes so when, whenever somebody says that you're doing a stick build, you're 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 painting with with air, with uh, uh, manual painting instead of airbrush painting. So I'm gonna try to do this entire model using the manual method. And the point of it is I want to show you that it can be done. I, there's a lot of people who are averse to building a model because they say, you know, you're gonna have to, you need an airbrush and you need a compressor in order to do it correctly. Well. Uh, there's a lot to be said for an airbrush. I mean, it really allows you to put on a smooth texture. But I think if you take your time and you, and you really um, take some consideration in the, in the application of paint, I think that you can have a very good result using stick brush. So um, let me show you some of the new tools that we got. Okay. So here before you is some of the clamps that I recently purchased and these are from a company called Wolfcraft. Now for, for people who are coming back to the industry, you probably never heard of them, but Wolfcraft was originally owned, it was a German company and I think it was purchased uh, by, by an American company. Now they do business, the, these were manufactured in Slovakia, but 
they are also have branch offices in, in uh, Latin America, and I, I think there's one in Cleveland as well. But the reason why I wanted to show you these particular clamps is because I find these things awesome. I can't, I can't, I'm over the moon about them. First of all, most of the, the type of clamps that you will purchase commercially um, for, for any kind of hobby clamps, they're weak. They don't have a, a perfect, or I should say sufficient uh, grip posture. You know, they, there's nothing to them. These are not like that. These are stout. I mean, these are firm. They actually hurt. They can pinch you. You know, this is much better than a, 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 a washing, what do you call it, a, a clothes pin. Much better than a, a, something that you might use for your, your potato chip bag. And they have these, what I would consider to be plastic hinge, hinges that, I'm, I'm sure, the pinch points that don't leave a lot of scoring onto your polystyrene uh, project. So awesome, very firm. Now, another additional advantage is that the Wolfcraft set, this, this set costs about $10. I got this on, on Amazon.com, um, about 10 bucks. That's awesome, delivered, you know? This, here's a, a needle nose version of them. Again, with the with the rubber, or actually, I wish they were rubber. They're they're plastic, kind of a hardened plastic, but they don't leave so much scoring. You know, with with a lot of clamps, you have that problem of scoring. But I love these pinch these these needle nose ones because it allows you to get in real tight spaces and and put that clamp on. You know, and and I mean just firm. Let's uh, let's show you here. I mean just. firm firm as all get out you can't well let's do it the other way look at that that is firm I mean nice three-quarter inch helix in there awesome clamp now this is the piece de la resistance right here this right here they have a patent on this one right and it's ratcheting I love this clamp because you as you clamp it down you can hear it. You hear it ratchet? And it will not release. That is a tight clamp. And then you, you hit this yellow button to release it. Look at that. That is one of the most awesome innovations for scale model builders I've I've seen in the probably the last 10, 15 years. Alright? So this is Wolfcraft is the brand. And if you can see, if you notice here, they have a real wide um, mouth part, you know, where, where it clamps down. Just excellent. Can't beat that clamp. This is gonna come in handy when you're putting fuselages together, when you're putting tail fins together. If you build model aircraft, I imagine if you build armor, you're, you're, there's gonna come a point where you're gonna need to attach the, the body. Um, to to the chassis and things like that but just I can't I'm just over the moon about these these are just awesome clamps Wolfcraft 10 bucks you can't beat it go ahead and get them all right now the second thing I wanted to tell you about is this new primer that I got now a, a lot of people will tell you about surface primers and they'll tell you about gap filling primers and and uh, uh, other I think it's uh, mr. Mr. Surfacer, I think. I don't know about that. I can't, I can't really talk about that reliable, well, reliably. But what I can tell you is this is a company called Vallejo. And man, I have yet to see a good primer that works as well as this. And they come in so many different colors. This, this happens to be the black version and, and the white version. And um, let me, I think I have something here. Yeah, here we go. Now, the the thing about primer here's some some wheels from a, a 148 uh model this is the the jug that i'm working on right here and i as you can see i have hit it really quickly with with uh airbrush and and i did uh some uh, put some some of that surface primer on i don't let me go ahead and get that up close to the to the screen okay now the, the reason why I want to show you that is this will not be the finished coat. This I'll, I'll put another coat on, 
But I just want to show you how completely that covers and how tough that finish is and, and how dull it is where, I don't know how to explain this, but it's like, it's very receptive to paint. It, it almost, I don't want to get sexual, but it's it's very female in the, in the sense that when you, when you put your gloss paint on, you're, imagine your gloss paint as being male. This is a very good receptacle. It's ready, willing to accept that paint. And, and I mean, it just adheres very closely. Very nice. And especially when you have parts with intricate detail, the, the, what I have found, especially with the black, is that that Vallejo primer just lays right in there and the nooks and crannies, I mean, it gets in there. And, and that is really gonna make your detail pop when, when you put your um, uh, top coat on there. So I, I would seriously recommend that. Okay, so I have one more thing I wanna show you. Now, this is not a, an invention per se, but what I've done here is I, I wanted to show you, I took, taken four pieces of cardboard and created a stand. And, and what, what I try to tell people is eventually you're gonna get your scale model to the point where you're gonna have your complete fuselage together. And typically what you'll have is you'll have um, landing gear. You'll have problems with, uh, here for example, on your build sheet. You see these landing gear that are sticking out? Let me put that in the camera. See these landing gear that are sticking out? That's gonna be problematic for you to join this together and you got these landing gear with no no wheels, nothing to support it there. So what, you know, I'm not the inventor of this, but what I, what I recommend is go ahead and build you a stand or a cradle. And you can, I, I've taken a pizza box here, but what you can do is, is cut you some, some cardboard um, and, and put, put it together like this, you know, put it together. And what you have is a, is a stationary platform where you can glue and work on your model without damaging it and without getting the paint wet. So you can imagine this, this is a, well shoot, I, I guess this would be about eight inches, maybe, maybe, uh, I gotta get this in. There. Okay, so from here to here, you probably, you're probably dealing with about eight inches. Let me see get my ruler on it. Let's see what, let's see what we're working on here for my for my international people we're dealing with about well you figure for 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 the Americans and the Brits we're dealing about seven inches for for the international crowd we're dealing probably about 18 centimeters maybe 20 maybe 19 right and so what's gonna happen is your model is gonna be different this is this happens to be a 148th uh, uh, scale, but your model may be 172 or maybe even 132nd, you know, and so you're going to have to adjust it. And so what I do is I just cut these holes where you can slide this back and forth. All right. So you can adjust it to length. And once, once I, I'm, I probably should have waited until I got the fuselage together, but I think you can imagine that once you have that fuselage together, you're gonna to put that in the cradle and uh, let it let it rest in here. And that way you can move your model around as you paint, as you, as you apply your paint and glue on it, paint on it, and be able to move it, you know? So just a, a quick uh, lesson, you know, just a, a craft tip. But hey, I wanted to really thank you guys <clears throat> for continuing to watch my videos. I, ca I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate that. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and finish up this, this P47N. I know <laughs> it has been languishing over here for a long time, but we're gonna get on that. Hey, my name is Joel Z. Williams. Welcome and thank you so much to Prop Scale Aircraft Model Building. Love to have you here. Thanks a lot.